I have AL amyloidosis and I was diagnosed on April 17, 2017. I was super healthy, I was an ex-basketball player, won two straight national championships in college and I kept my fitness going and I was that guy that was in the gym seven days a week. And then pretty soon, I wasn't able to play basketball, I moved to cycling, pretty soon I wasn't able to do that, I moved to yoga, pretty soon I wasn't able to do a downward dog and I wasn't doing anything. So it just progressed and progressed and then, you know, over time, I wasn't able to walk up the stairs. I hadn't been up to the upstairs in my, in my house for over a year. But during the course of that time, I had seen pulmonary specialists, I had seen neurologists, uh, I had seen GI specialists. Uh, I had, they told me I had GERD, they told me I had emphysema, and of course they told me I had athlete's heart because my heart was thick at the bottom. They attributed it to me being an athlete. And then it seemed like everything else just got brushed under the carpet. And then I, I saw an ear, nose, and throat guy because I, I, you know, I have trouble talking sometimes and clearing my throat. I just kept going to different doctors. I would find a specialist and then keep going to that person and thinking that, okay, they were going to help me. And then they didn't, and then I would maybe go to another specialist. I probably saw 10 or 15 doctors. My symptoms were just, you know, overall weakness. And I wasn't able to breathe. I wasn't able to walk upstairs. I was really weak. I just wasn't the same person I was. I was just a, a shadow of myself. I'm optimistic. I can walk, I can breathe, I, I work out. And without the treatment, I would, I would be dead right now. That's the fact. But when they started with the treatment, I could start seeing some improvement right away. And that's why I'm sitting here today. They saw that I had purple in my eyes and they ran me through all the tests that I'd already done. But in a matter of two days, they said, you know, we know what you have, but we need to prove it clinically. So they ran a few more tests and they told me that you have amyloidosis, AL amyloidosis, specifically cardiac amyloidosis. And that was the start of my journey. Clinically, my numbers have improved, so that is evidence. I can walk, I can breathe, I, I work out. I mean, there's, the only thing I have is, is kind of weakness right now, but I'll take that any day. I feel great, and I would probably always say that. I mean, I do feel great. I, I, I feel, you know, people ask me, how you doing, how you doing all the time? And I say, I feel great. And they say, really? Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> I say, I do feel great. Emotionally, I feel great. Psychologically, I feel great. Spiritually, I feel great.